So after being reduced to nothing short of tears, it's almost 2 in the morning, it's actually 20 to 2 in the morning, 1.41 a.m. It's been 50 plus attempts since I've actually tried this big oil day one, it's still from Death Wish and Pro Job and it's a bloody pain to do. So we're going to give it another whirl. First thing to do, grab a body, blah, 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 grab a body bag, don't grab a bay. And check the fence. Uh, fence is fine. Whatever. <laughs> uh, brr. Fence is not electrified. You just t you just tap it. See if it's electrified. If it isn't, if it is great. If it isn't, uh, if, if it if it isn't great, then if it is, you are restricted in what you can do. But the strategy is still roughly the same. Just you can't cut fences. No shortcuts. Usually cutting fences is actually the best way to deal with this place, you know, hide bags, etc. But actually it can all be done in the confines of this compound. So cutting the fence isn't always required. Camera looping is pointless on this map because actually only some of the cameras are, view are reachable, like this one. But most of them aren't. I'm not even going to go over to use, I'm not even going to go in front of that camera so there's no point in looping at this one though. One active camera loop, that's fine. Okay. So, what we're doing is we're killing all the moving guards and leaving all of the stationary ones alive because we will need them for the final sweep. Usually I would just sweep the house now, but... With the potential of a moving guard walking in very high, as in... Genuinely, the probability of one of them walking in on us whilst we're doing something malicious is actually quite high. So we're going to thin those numbers down. As a matter of fact, I want them non-existent. Whilst we're down here. I will give you the best of me. Oh. Time to go ramble bags. See, that's a journey you have to make if you've got an electrified fence. I'd like to just play as if there is one, but, you know, it's just too tempting to use the fence cutters because it's just so easy. I didn't actually expect someone to open that door. No, he won't spot what we've done. He may have seen that. He didn't, but he could have. That was actually a very risky move. Five bags left. Still some movers around, definitely. Let's go still for a sec. Uh, oh, let's not go still, actually. That's a bad idea. Let's be on high alert. Still all potential from... Ooh. Speaking of movers, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. he's coming down. I'm not taking that same risk with that dude who almost saw me kill that last dude. I want to wait for you. Do you reckon he'd see it? I don't know if he would or not. I don't want to take the risk. I don't think he would. No chance. Yeah, I was right. Oh, fortunate. I love when I'm right. Alright, we're out of bags in the cases. We just have three on us. Ooh, more movers. I actually love it when there's more movers because that means there are less stationaries. Oh, is that two movers? That is two movers. What's the cameras like over there? I don't know, that's the problem. Ho ho ho! I just walked away with your friend's body, Mr. Mr. Guard. Where is he now? Where is he? Where do you wander off to? He just disappeared. Oh no, you didn't. You're right there. 
camera not see will not see you. Neither will any p guards, because from this point, no one can see you. And if there's no cameras, you don't have to worry. Let's just move you out here. For five minutes and one body bag left, I'm very impressed with how I've been playing this so far. I've learned from all my mistakes, and I'm confident, actually, that there are no more movers. But we'll need to verify. So we're going to stop moving, we're going to start tagging people randomly. Meet my sixth sense. Okay. I like the look of this. There's a guy up on the balcony. He could see me. Fortunately, however, he appears to be a blind chap. So that's fine, we'll just head in the back. Only two in this room, which actually makes it very easy to clean this. There. Let's go sixth sense and see who's chilling in these rooms. Because those are the only ones I can tag. But I'd like to know how many there actually are. If it's just those four, this room is going to be... Downstairs is going to be so easy to clean, it's wonderful. I'm actually excited for this, because this actually appears to be a nearly successful run. A body that hides itself. Good example of one. Uh, the key card's just, you know, an asset you can use. So, both these rooms are clean. I'd like to clean upstairs next. But I'd like to know where the guards are positioned. Where's the best time to shoot? Now there should be... There's another guard there by the window, there must be. If there's not, this is the first time I've ever seen one where there isn't. You know what? Let me check. Because I'm safe enough to check here. Is there a guard by the window? There isn't a guard by the window. Holy sh... I think this is a first. This has got to be a first. There is always a guard by that window. So, looking at this, if there's really just these four guards left, there's that one, there's that one, there's that one, and there's one outside. I could kill these two. This guy will not see because there's a wall actually in the way, and this guy won't see because there's also a wall in the way. Let's deal with the cameras first. Is that actually every guard on the map? Have I... Let's see. Flicking through real quick. Every guard dead. Oh. I'm so happy. i finally done it. Okay. So, now for the cleanup. So, it's... First thing to do, really, is to find the safe and just drill it. The sound is fine. Neighbours won't be alerted to it. And that's the thing. If you hit gunfire, neighbours will call the police, and the neighbours are a bit of an issue. Now, there should be a couple of safes around. Maybe there's one further upstairs somewhere that I didn't see. Ah, there it is. So, I'm going to be back and forth on these drills. But I do have a few upgrades. Just some small upgrades on it, really. It's just high stealth. So, from here, I'm going to go ahead and start bagging things up. Um, we're going to check everywhere on this map for loot. So there are different, particular different locations in which there could be loot. Uh, especially inside all of these sheds. There could be some guns. No guns in here. I'd like to show you what they look like. You should know. If you've ever played Firestarter, that's what they look like. There goes one of the safe drills. 
drillers always go down, you're always going to have to repair them. Which is fine, because, you know, stealth. What's good in a bank heist is if you can stealth a bank heist and you put the drill down, it'll only actually break once. Normally. So you should be fine. But on this, there's just mini drills. The, the classic, they'll break all the time. <sighs> I can't find any guns anywhere. You'd expect me to find some by now, but they just... I'm going to have to start, I'm going to stop sprinting around and just actually take a look. Because I can't find any. Which is odd, because there's usually some in plain sight. I mean, I'm not complaining if there aren't, because if there aren't, I actually don't have to worry about moving them. Both of them break at the same time. That's embarrassing. Nearly two o'clock in the morning, and I've just successfully stealthed big oil. And yes, this is a successful stealth. As you can see, all guards dead. Wonderful. Can you smash these windows, you're probably asking? You could, I believe, actually smash those windows. Because the only thing that smashing windows does is alerts other people, but if they're all dead, can't do much, like, can it? Barricading the windows is only really useful for firefights, but, you know, it's just something to do. I think maybe it's suspicious. It'd be wonderful if it wasn't, though. Just imagine, like, sneaking into the house, barricading a window, and then leaving. Oh, yeah, there's also a chance that these doors will actually be rigged with flashbangs. If you ever decide, I'm going to try and sneak in through one of these doors. So if you can, always go through an unlocked door. This is the safest route to take. Guaranteed. Oh, that one's open. Hey, there's the address. And that's it. That's what you got to do. But I, and it's just a bit gobsmacked. There's actually no loot on here because there's usually some loot you can take, and there actually doesn't appear to be any. Let me do a full scan because I'm I'm actually in the sort of disbelief that there is actually no loot around the map at all. It is quite surprising. Yeah, I'm aware, Bane. Just, you know, chilling. It's not like we're in a rush or anything. Drill is still working. Beautiful. Any in the garage? There could be some in here. No? Hmm. Anyway, um, if I don't find any loot, then I'll probably just put a picture up of uh, some guns or some cocaine on this map if you want to know what they look like. But you should know, really. This is more of just a guide showing you how to bloody stealth this thing. Okay, that's open. What's in it? Ah, oh, some money. Uh, at least we got something to take away with us. Is that really it? There's genuinely no gun crates. There's nothing. It's kind of disappointing. Oh, well, let's just go. Don't waste too much time looking for loot that doesn't exist. Oh no, that's risky, that's risky, not doing that. Eh, screw it, what's life for that little risk? Uh, time to go. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh.